Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentucky in here with you from Dead Pit Radio. Once again, Halloween is coming up real soon and we are going to give you guys a doozy today. This is a perfect one to grab and pick up and watch on Halloween night. High recommendation already, I want to say. Now we've reviewed this movie before um, and it's had a couple of different editions over the last couple of years. Uh, this big deluxe steelbook edition uh, from Synapse Films came out about a year and a half ago. Got a few different covers on it and everything. Really nice. It's in a steelbook. You know, it's the deluxe limited edition three disc version, which includes the soundtrack. But recently they came out with, it is the two disc Tombs of the Blind Dead. Armando Diasario, the Blind Dead Collection, started with this movie. There were a total of four Blind Dead films. Early 70s, this was 1972. The zombie movies as we know it were kind of in their infancy at this point. You just had Night of the Living Dead. But the Spanish, they did their zombies a little bit different, right? And this movie is a cool one, like I said, this time of year. Uh, we're going to talk about the movie, and then we're going to dive into some extra features and everything that's included on this Synapse version. Let's take a look at it. In Tombs of the Blind Dead, we follow three college students, Virginia, Betty, and Roger. All friends going on a trip together. Virginia gets kind of jealous and just decides, out of the blue, I'm going to hop off this train and get away from you motherfuckers. Only to find herself near an ancient and very spooky graveyard. For some reason, she just decides to set up camp and spend the night in the ruins. And of course, what happens that night, folks? The dead begin to rise. Betty and Roger go looking for and everything. This is like three of the dumbest people of all time. The zombies themselves are Knights of the Templar. They are Satan worshippers. Make it even worse. And now they're looking for their friends, but will they escape with their lives? So with Tombs of the Blind Dead from 1972, this movie is a lot of fun, guys. It's very like, you're like, what the hell are you doing? Really? Okay, you're, you're going to camp out with some dead people. You got balls, lady. Right? There's, it's, there's a lot of that where you're like, what the hell is going on? But also the makeup effects of the time, you know, this was 1972 when this was released. There's really not a whole hell of a lot else that you can compare it to from this time period. Some of the very early color zombie movies and this one was a Spanish one that over the years has garnered just a gigantic fan base amongst the cult film community. This thing, people were looking forward to this for years and years and years. Don May Jr. of Synapse Films had been talking about working on this for a while. And finally, it's out. And this one, man, looks beautiful. The soundtrack on this thing is amazing as well. Very spooky, very haunted house-like. And it's one that you'll definitely want to pick up and add to your horror collection. Just the movie itself. Now, the special features on this thing are amazing as well. Synapse always does just a fantastic job on every release that they do. They take their time, right? And people have given them a hard time over the years because of it. They take their damn time. They're not in a hurry. I don't think they've ever had a recall disc. Uh, and what other studio can say that? But anyway, this one right here, we're going to take a look at what you get inside. You get the Synapse Films product booklet for 2023. It's got the Tenebrae artwork there, which I love. And two discs. So you have two different versions of the movie. Actually, three different versions of the movie. On disc one, you have an original Spanish language and an English-Spanish hybrid soundtrack version. And on disc two, you have the U.S. theatrical version, which is vastly different than the Spanish release. 
As the special features on this thing, they have included three separate commentary tracks. There is an audio commentary with horror film historian and author Troy Howarth, another audio commentary with the star Lone Fleming, yet another audio commentary with Rod Barnett and Troy Gwynn of the Natchy Cast podcast. Marauders of the Mediterranean, a feature-length documentary exploring the history of the Spanish zombie film, including interviews with Not a Living Dead writer and producer John Russo, Sitges Film Festival Deputy Director Mike Honesteck, Film Critic John Martin, Academic Kalen Waddle, The Living Dead at Manchester Moore Director Jorge Grau, which that's another fantastic zombie movie made by a Spanish filmmaker, Tombs of the Blind Dead star Lone Fleming, and many more. There is also an alternate U.S. opening sequence titled Revenge of the Planet Ape, which tried to market this as another Planet of the Apes movie, which is very bizarre. Theatrical trailers and a whole hell of a lot more. There's tons of stuff on this, guys, that you'll want to check out. Tombs of the Blind Dead, very atmospheric. It's kind of slow in parts, but I love it. I think it's a classic and it's a high recommendation. It's available now from Synapse Films. Check it out and check us out. We are over at deadpit.com. Thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Poor dog. I really don't give a fuck. I want, I want you to. I want you to. I don't care. Let's keep our community growing here on YouTube. I, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, I need to do that. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Simply the best horror shirts. On T Public, there are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1. We ain't